This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we went through the bayou, had Murray meet with his master, caught some scorpions, released the master, and Bentley gave him a sticker ball. What can it do? Turn him invisible and control people! So now we've got to destroy these drills using the brute force method, or head bashing method, or whatever. So we need to take some uh, regular hired goons. Hired goons? And bash them into the drills. So why not? I mean, uh, it's obvious. I mean, then again, I was about to say something about violence again, but I was like, have the, have the main characters really been, I don't think they've ever been said about to be, like, kind-hearted. Well, okay, they're kind-hearted, but you know what I mean, not, not against, like, a little bit of force, you know, if it came down to it, so. Uh, sweet moves. Taking over someone's body and, and making them a silly, silly. I guess the way you run away from this guy is just turning invisible, I guess. What the? You turned a pile of sticks. That's funny. I wonder if it just changes depending on... Uh, it cha I wonder if it changes depending on where you're at. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> right, can I? There we go. Uh, but yeah, I guess it random. I wonder, but I wonder if you, if you go to like other places in the game, like if you have to use the master, does he does he turn into like stuff? Like if I went back to the the Venice level, would he turn into like different things? You know? It's actually pretty handy to just be able to turn invisible whatever you want, so you don't have to. Try it, bud. Oh, come on! <laughs> and the fact that I, can, I turn invisible, like, right in front of them. I'm being too, uh, what's the word? I'm being too antsy. I need to just wait, a, a, like, a hot minute. And then, uh, oh, and it's also because I'm running, too. I, I keep forgetting that running makes noise. I'm a little... <laughs> I like how they have the little, like, running effects on their feet, you know, kind of like, uh, oh, yeah, like a the cartoon. You know, how long has it been since we've had, like, a cartoon game up here? And, uh, uh, like, just in general. There's probably been a lot. They probably just haven't been Master, you are king! Keep it up! Bentley's got another plan to stick it to these miners! Head for that far rock! Oh, okay. I didn't think that doing that was going to be the only thing in this, like, mission or whatever. Time for the, time for the na naturalist or whatever you want to call the koala master dude. Uh, time for him to take, take charge. Because, uh, uh, this time, nature, nature's, whoa. This time, nature's fighting back. With the help of a koala. And his little pouch and, uh, stick and ball. Ball in a cup? There's a cupcake in a cup. Alright, what do we have to do with this rod? Do we have to destroy more drills? That's right here. That grinder is tearing up Wave Rock! I know, it's awful! However, the Lynx generator is weak, easily destroyed. Provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Ah, uh, oh, don't I? More ramming. Uh, I like the fact he's not looking through the. Uh, he's not looking through the. Um, um, but he doesn't have binoculars. He has his little orb or sphere or whatever, which is kind of funny. All right, so we have to capture a couple more guys and get them over those rocks. So just gotta find uh, some dudes in the general area. You, sir, will be part of my experiment. Ramming people into brick walls. I love them. Ooh, two more the master. Master. I am the master, master. Oh, master, 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 blaster? Who runs Barter Town? Well, apparently this guy does. Actually, d where we are is, I mean, wasn't uh, what were the Mad Max uh, movies filmed in Australia? Like an outback or whatever. Hey, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure that that's where they were filming. You know, I still haven't seen uh, Fury Road yet. I heard it's awesome. 
I just haven't seen it yet. I think it's been forever since I've watched any of the Mad Max stuff. So. I don't watch as many movies as I used to. I don't know why. Just. Hot oily tears, huh? Sounds vulgar. Alright, one more dude, and we'll be done with it. But, yeah, I don't know why. I just, uh. I think it's because I've got so many projects and other things working on that I, uh. Uh, I can't, like, stop for an hour or two and watch a movie or something like that, you know? Yep, oh, come on. There we go. I think it's just because if I'm just sitting there doing nothing, uh, like, other than the movie, then I feel like I'm missing time or something like these days. Master, you've done it! Rejoice, the master has come. <laughs> you, oh, I, once I was a student, but now I am the master. The guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the dingo miners and deal with the mask of dark earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the miners' ranks. Murray will feed our foes to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. The mask of dark earth is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think we can handle it. All right, did I get enough coins? No, I don't think so. Oh, God, we even have more. Ah, more grinding, but I'll do that off screen. <laughs> That's probably the only issue. I mean, we still have a full game to go, so I don't have to buy all this stuff immediately, but I feel like I should just get it out of the way sooner than later. Although, I wonder if doing those side jobs for to complete the missions give you... Oh, actually, since Murray's is right there, let's just do him. Usually, I do Sly first, but uh, let's give let's give Murray the first go this time. So, yeah, we've got to get on to our planning phases till we, so we can get rid of that funky, funky mask from the 60s or 70s, baby. Time we subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger, it's feeding time. So does this gator have a croc or a clock inside of its body? Smee, roll for the ship! Roll for the ship! Oh. <laughs> does he just like a plethora of like different like? This is so. What do you think about it? this? Is Sorry. What do you think about it? this? Is pretty gruesome. What do you think about it? Uh, just like, if this was a cartoon, this would be horrifying. <laughs> Jeez, guys, get off me! I'm trying to feed a croc, man. Oh. Oh, I might. Maybe uh, need a. Ah. <laughs> God, guys, come on! And, uh, there's a few dudes up. Is there a health? Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I think I got a health thing. Or something. Yeah, these guys are not giving me a hot, uh, like a minute to like feed this guy. All right. Nope. Okay, so we're done with uh, you guys. 
Furry, did you say what I thought you said? <laughs> Put that silliness out of your brain. Do you, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, I forgot to set his abilities. So let's uh, let's do this as L2 and see what that does. Okay, so it is his speed ability. Neat. Ah, come on, man. Great job, Murray. Now be the croc oh. one last thing. A big, tasty flashlight guard. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember, you'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. I think he had an item on him. <laughs> the bronze ring! Yes! There. Anyway. Right, what did he say he was? He was like over here. Okay, so we need to throw him. We gotta get a dango. Throw him in that croc's mouth. There. Yeah. You'll need to sneak up on the fighter with a flashlight in order to grab him. Yeah, I know about that. I heard you. Now we just gotta run all the way back. Just hopefully we don't get a... Which I got saw, seen already, so good good job on that, Murray. I think of Murray is like two tons of awesome, so you gotta... You know, it's gonna be a little bit of a trouble. Anyway, open up! Take cover, Murray! Here comes a guard wearing the mask of Dark Earth! Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off! Tarnation, that mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? <laughs> Man, that mask is go getting away without treasure. <laughs> All right, do we have another Murray? Uh, no, I guess that was it. So that one was pretty quick. All right, back to Sly and uh, switching out. So <laughs> yeah, that pesky mask. Tarnation. We'll get you this next time, Mask. Next time! <laughs> oh, whatever it is. So, okay. You remember that show? I'm probably, probably too old for most of you youngins. I have to remember that stuff. I think I remember stuff older than that. It's just, you know. Yeah, I heard they were. Ah, we'll get back to that later. Alright, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners and we'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> You don't see Sly get angry too often. He's usually pretty cool as a cucumber. Same thing with Murray. Murray, like, usually just gets a little bit heated, but not straight up angry at the time. But, uh, yeah, Bentley almost never gets mad. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough, tough, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Fair dinkum. Losers have to clear out. Lemonade? I thought they were going to say milk. I'm just so used to that. All right. We got to... Ready, steady, go! I think you just have to... I think you just have to press the buttons, right? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just smash the buttons or not, but... But, uh, but yeah, like, in a lot of stories, usually, like, in Japanese stories or something, they'll be like, instead of alcohol, they'll change, they'll, they'll translate to milk or something like that, but in this case, it, it will, I guess in this case, it originally wasn't even anything anyway. Oh, right, I forgot, uh, forgot Bentley, not much of a drinker, so we have to kind of, uh, he, he drank slower than the rest of the guys, so. Bring it! 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm like supposed to press like really fast or anything like that. I'm just pressing all of them just to see if that works. Remember to I don't know if I can chug them with little or anything. We win. That's cheating. Why the turtle spill more than he drank? Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beat. Cheaters a bite? Nah, of course, violence. <laughs> that's just gonna be a running theme throughout the game, is it? Just violence in general. Let's see, that's supposed to be a speed ability. Uh, let's see, health, I guess. Just do that, that. I guess it really doesn't matter in this case, but uh, <laughs> uh, of course we're gonna have to. And of course, the way we're supposed to beat them is, I think we're just supposed to throw them into the electric fence. Don't miss on or the fire, or whatever you want to do. Don't miss on the electric fence. Maybe we'll leave that up to slide. I didn't really seem to get the good. To be able to play as Murray during this part, because of obviously. What does that do? This is tense. Sly, you okay? Right as rain, pal. Oh, he's, he, we're, we're swapping out. Right, is that how that works? Or it doesn't just happen over the course of a. Uh, so I'm not sure we're supposed to keep smacking them or if we're supposed to. Sly, you're on I'm fire. supposed to purpose. Oh, that's just. Oh, I think it's just. It depends on how many people we be. We swap over to the next guy. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact. I mean, if you can control the combat well enough, you can knock him into like the drills or the, the fire or the uh, or the lightning uh, or the lightning fence or whatever. I'm really doing a good job. Doing that, They're sending a few more people than just a handful for beating them at lemonade ranking. You guys feel you feel very. Uh, I'm oh, very good at lemonade. Although, yeah, like I said, I, I don't know if I could really chug anything, let alone lemonade. Maybe water. You're actually not supposed to chug stuff. They just keep coming. You holding up, Murray? Yeah, you're not supposed to really chug stuff. It's not good for you. At least Murray's the easiest to use when it comes to straight up combat because it's easy to control, control the character's environment because you just, pick, just press a button. Most times it's going to knock him into a prone position and then, and then you instant take him out. So. The other characters don't really do that very well, but that's, I mean, that's the point. Sly's supposed to be kind of a, if you think about it, Sly's supposed to be like a mid tier character. And Bentley's supposed to be the, the weakest with his gadgets physically. Murray's supposed to have all the tricks because he's used to fisticuffs brawling and all that. See, so yeah, when it comes to straight up fighting, I prefer playing Murray. Just because, of all, just because it's easier to get that. I was actually trying to get the heals, not actually run into the. Uh, although it's kind of weird how like, sometimes the AI does better for me with the, with the, the characters than I do with the human player. What dudes are there? Dude, you, did you call in the whole gang? The Dango Gang and eat the babies. Summon everyone. Of course, the game likes to auto send them to places I didn't want them to be sent to. I was like, I want them to go in the fence. Or the fire. Pit. Or. I think we're almost done. I think they've stopped coming. Well done! Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, look like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Now 
Looks like they took out our easy to finish off method, so we're going to have to finish it the hard way. Alright, we'll just say stun it before each attack. Let Bentley and Murray stun it before attacking. Okay. So we basically have to run him either into Murray's. Get him while he's dazed! Okay. I, I, I prefer, like, uh... I do prefer, like, when you have to, like, get the, the other players to help, or not players, other characters to help. I don't know. More games need more, like, uh, team player aspects or whatever. That's why I like, like, certain superhero teams more than solo sometimes, because it's like... I, if, if they do it well, I like how they, uh... So the team dynamic. But, uh, <laughs> is he flailing his hands like a little wussy? Like, yeah, or is he trying to look at that? He looks like he's trying to slap me. He's like, yeah, I'll get you. Yeah. Does the mask know, not know not know how to use the power of the dingo or whatever? I said we can't get that guy to run the fire. Or is he mean to that? But, uh, distract. Distract all and shot attack. Let's go take out this this big old big old fluffy fluffy uh, feisty uh, this dangerous dingo. You're packing, packing some heat. You know, funny enough, I wonder if the, if this game had been written today instead of saying he was jacked. I wonder if they would have said he was swole instead. It's always the interesting thing about certain like. Like when a time a game was written, or or something like that, like like, uh, like how dialogue will change from. Because I have noticed, I've, I've noticed modern games being written or done a lot differently than uh, than the ones from the day and before. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away. We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. Well, we've been trying it multiple times. The mask is just, that pesky mask just gets away with our treasure. Sorry, I just, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go watch uh, Castle in the Sky. <laughs> and no, it has nothing to do with the mask. It's just a different wording. It has a, fun, it has a really funny line there near the end of the game. Uh... And everyone runs back off to their own places. All right, uh, one more with Sly, so let's take care of that. Hopefully we'll get that before the end of this episode. I'll try to get there. I mean, I don't want to rush it, but I'm hoping I do, because I, I want to try and stick within a timeline. Just make some more, uh... Ow! Sly, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be raccoonous with the, the power of awesome and not dyingness. That's a real word, right? I mean, yeah, I don't like rushing my uh, recordings or anything like that, but I also like to be... I try to be... I don't know if efficient's the word. I try not to dilly-dally too much. You know, Final Fantasy taught me... Final Fantasy VII, I haven't had children taught me anything. <laughs> dilly-dally, shilly-shally. What does that even mean, anyway? So, anyway. Next mission. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh, yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. Why, e -S, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. All right, time to go to the oil fields. Ho hopefully you don't set any of them on fire. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? Okay, and the way you can tell that is the highlight of the shadow or whatever it is, so. Yeah, the claw. It's the claw. Oh, right, so the pipe. Okay. This is easy. You do seem quite adept. 
The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. I wonder why Murray's wearing that hat he is. Is that supposed to be like an oil man's cap or something? It looks more like a hunter's cap, you know. Oh, I've been hunter. I'm, you know, I'm Woods, uh, Bedford, uh, Barry, uh, Murray, uh, the third. You know. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. I am facing Bedley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, cause it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come! Jeez, it's the cops! Okay, I'm out. Oops, I meant to do it. Does it? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I can either if I drop rocks on him or. or whatever. Either way it would work. Oh, press the button. Oh, nope, gotcha. And gotcha. And get to get you. And I gotcha. How much are getting these poor guys? <laughs> yeah, the smell alone would be would be uh, bad enough, you know. I got one boat flowing. Two more to go. Come on, Murray. Hurry it up with your strength. Yeah, I don't I don't get why they're having to wear that, that hat. I mean it's a nice hat. I like it. I assume it's supposed to be for the heat, maybe. Because it has like a thing on the back of... Or is that supposed to be... A, no, that's a scarf. Never mind. I was about to say maybe it's one of those... Um, you know, a lot of people in the in the deserts wear... I forgot what they're called. Two down, one to Usually go. most people wear like lighter clothing. You know, so that way they can protect from the sun but not be too hot. You know, obviously people wear different things in the desert depending on where you're from. But most people wear like a cap. Like a cloth cap or something that with, that runs out down the back to cover their neck, so they don't get too badly sunburned. But then again, I've never actually been in the desert. I've only the closest thing I've been to a desert was the salt plains of a. Oops. Looks like I've been doing pretty good on. Looks like I've been doing. This makes it easy. We got the spring. You better Whee! pick up the okay, Sly, it's safe to let Murray go now. Just throw him. Oh, check out I these guns! That pumping has got me <laughs> pumped! Okay, I think this one's a little bit shorter, so. Because obviously it gets more tough over the course of the thing. This guy's not. They need to start. I think in the final one, they start throwing a bit more dudes closer together, I think, but. If I release them just like, um, like down the line on, or down the line, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. It's pretty easy too. Myth this. Did it make that like a long time ago? I missed, I missed the Mythbuster show or stuff similar to that. Then again, I don't watch TV anymore, like I said before, so I wonder if there's science shows like that. Not necessarily have to be busting myth, but like entertaining shows about you know, science and stuff like that. There probably are, I'm probably just. Yeah, but me staying away from standard media, I'm not as aware of that stuff anymore. But there's probably this stuff. I know a lot of the, I know the guy who played uh, Adam, the guy who played Adam, or played Adam. I know Adam Salvage still went back to basically making stuff. Um, uh, you can, I think he doesn't have a YouTube channel or something like that, but he still does stuff. Uh, Jamie Heineman, he kind of disappeared. Well, he was never a big fan of, like, if I remember correctly, he really wasn't a big fan of fame or something like that, so he went back to his private life for the most part. Um, but Adam was more, like, go getter of the two anyway, so. Uh, I think the three helpers, uh, uh, Randy Mahara, I think he. I think he still works in the entertainment industry, like, working on, like, stuff. Um, I see him on science. Sorry. I didn't mean to talk while they were while they were talking. I just, like I said, with a three-second delay, it's hard to tell when I need to start stop because by the time the it's like halfway in the okay, conversation. Fly, it's safe to let Murray go now. So this area is a bit bigger. Oh, oh, oh we've got a. Oh, 
Oops. Okay. Whoops. Uh, nope. So that's how they get you. You gotta. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh come on. Is he moving? Is he really moving that much for me? Wow, I'm doing poor. He chose poorly. Um. I was putting it in the wrong spot. I don't know why I had to... I don't know why I was thinking I was supposed to... Flaming gnarly Game? Yeah. Game? I was doing so good, and then all of a sudden I'm like... I'm doing so poor. Um, but yeah, for some reason I thought I had to... Uh, put the rock on the top of the bit, like right here, instead of right here. I got my groove back. Stella taught me how to do it. She seemed like a nice lady. Actually, I should have to get my friend. She watched the movie. I'm only aware of it. A lot of stuff I make reference to are stuff I've heard of, but I have no idea the context of them or like what, like the movie or show or whatever it is. I mean, not in all cases, but. I'm actually always surprised with how much I'm aware of pop culture, despite me being a guy who hates pop culture for the most part. I'm usually just have enough knowledge of it somehow. I mean, obviously, most kids half my age or even younger would clearly know a lot more than I do, but I don't know. It's just something. It's just something interesting to know when you're like, when someone makes a reference that's like within the last couple of months and you actually know what they're talking about. Now for phase three. With the oil wells alight, the pressure differential should draw the deep uranium enriched glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Whoa! Uh, looks like Murray might be coming a, a, a teenage mutant ninja hippo if we, with that attitude. Feel it in the air, the miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the mask of Dark Earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The Mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunderplop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the Guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. All right, we've done enough preparing. Now it's time to do the uh, operation, uh, the next operation, to defeat the mask. Will we be able to defeat the mask and, and uh, save the outback from uh, from the the progress of of uh, ca uh, capitalism? Find out next time in the next episode of Sly Three: Honor Among Thieves. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.